Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Have a nigga in the cut where the wood at? Anyway, let me talk to y'all about assimilation. I really don't believe in assimilation. Um, integration was the worst thing. I just don't understand the thinking of black people when white people are cruel to us. They don't want us around. And it's like, with all that being said, it's like we forced ourselves on, on them when they didn't want to be integrated with us. And this is why we're going through the things we go through, like harassment. They lie on, I saw them lie on somebody, um, like last week about their job, make the person get fired. A uh, Becky said that somebody, her, you know, um, threatened her and, you know, the person got fired and it's like, they just do a lot of awful things and I don't understand why people want to assimilate with them. And then they got a bunch of black women talking about they feel safer with white men in charge. It's things that black people do, but it's not, it's not like on a level like white people just seem like a lot of them, not, you know, I'm not going to put a, a, a fucking, um, thing out and not all. If it apply, if it don't apply, let it fly. But a lot of white people, they don't like to see black people doing good. It's like they are natural born nemesis. And it's like, they want to, they, they want to be around us so they could be in our business, question us and, and do stuff to us. Cause if they don't have us to do it to, they're going to do it to one another. That's it. I don't understand assimilation. I don't understand wanting to be around these people. I'm really about to look into, um, Seeing what I could do to get off the grid. I do not, like, I really don't want to be around them. Just like they don't want us around them. I feel the same way. I see all this swirling. That's why all these people doing all this cooning. It's against their own interest. They doing swirling. Black people acting just like them. Black men down and black women. And then them in, in, in turn for, you know, the black men down in them. They, they're uplifting white men. It's crazy. The original oppressor. That's crazy. I hate all of them. I just hope they breed themselves out of existence. And when I see them, I, I, I just, I'm happy. Breed, breed yourself out of existence. Cause the self hate is real. I'm never going to look at some somebody that's different than me and put them on a pedestal. Even if I see a bunch of bum dudes that's trash in our community, I'm going to look to the ones that are not. Why should you want the worst of our community to represent us? Why are y'all constantly... Talking about the worst in our community. And most of these um, dudes online that y'all judging people by are, they not even, um, 
They just, they, they like nigga nerds. Like they bitter, they corn balls, they corny. They can't get a black woman. You should look, look at yourself like you un, unattainable. They have to get like a 300 pound white woman. Cause they can't get you. They mad. They mad. That's why they complaining. I'll look at them. I'll be like, all of them ugly. All of them corny. Geeky. They nothing. Don't let them sway how you think. Black woman. They won't even show two black people together. In a commercial, I got to see swirling. You got to defend wanting to be with a black person now. You got to feel like scared around black people because you believe in two black people being together. Two black people loving one another and creating something in their own image. It's like everybody hate black people, even black people. Assimilation is the smartest thing they did. In the 80s when I was little, black people had stores. All the corner stores was black. It was our own people. By the 90s when I was a teenager... It was Asian people, Puerto Ricans. Um, it wasn't no black people. I only ever saw one black one black store, and that was one African store. It was they. It was like a weave store, and he told me he said. The Asian people, it was hard for them like get hair weave and stuff from them. But one thing y'all did teach me in the pro black community, which I don't I don't really care for the people personally in the pro black community. I don't like their stink attitudes. I don't like their stink attitudes. They just extra to me. Like a lot of them. They fake and phony. They be sitting there trying to act like they want rights for black people. But can't even treat one another decent. And then they got dudes. That's in the manosphere. But they but they pro black. Like make it make sense. And then it's, it's, some, it's some of the dudes so feminine to me. I can't stand when a man is feminine, feminine and mouthy. It's like annoying to me. I hate that shit. A man is supposed to be stoic, strong, silent. Oh, you think a woman said something to me, so I'm gonna say something back. Mm -hmm. Like that's so that's so feminine to me. It it disgusts me. My father held himself. To a high standard. He was sitting there arguing with women. And it made him look more. It made him look like he was above that shit. That shit was like some some women shit. Like I'm above that. I'm a man. I know y'all want to do that shit. Y'all want to sniff him behind white women. Including my son. I don't care what they do. He's sniffing behind him. He want to smell dog hairs. I asked him, I was like, when do you like black women? You don't know what I like. I know what I see. And if you can't even like your own women, you don't like yourself. When you look in the mirror, you don't like yourself. That's how some Asian girl was like, you have a big nose. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I got Negroid features. I'm black. 
I don't give a fuck. I ain't trying to have European features. I'm a black woman. And that's why I don't contour my features. Because I'm black. I don't want to look white. I don't want to have a small nose. My nose is not small. I have high cheekbones. Like, I don't want to make myself look European. But that's the one thing that y'all did teach me in being in a pro-black community. That fucking, I hate that. Um, you know, I would never tell anybody how to wear their hair or I would never diss anybody for how they wear their hair. But I hate that um, European hair. It looks so European. I know it's like Indian hair, or but it's still straight hair. It's still not. You know, the look of black people hair. I do not like it on black people. I like um, black people with their own, you know, hair or braids or locks or something. I don't like, um, I don't like like them bone straight weaves and stuff. Like if you gonna get a weave at least get it like curly or kinky. I can't stand that bone straight hair. It looks weird on black people. Just look odd. You make us look like a um a white woman dipped in chocolate. I hate that shit. And then with that fucking contour, like making a nose small, I hate that shit. So what I'm trying to say is I just hate assimilation. It was the worst thing that we did. I really can't I really can't bear to be around like you know Brad and Becky is like starting to get on my nerves. They just act like um they jealous when they see black people like I'm really getting harassed by the police from buying a new car. I got a new car and I'm constantly getting harassed um, since I had it. When I had my older car, they I was invisible. I was like the invisible man. And now I have a new car. Like They follow me. They bother me. Giving me tickets and stuff. I ain't had tickets in. I, I swear I ain't had tickets in like 15 years. But as soon as I get a, a new car, I'm getting harassed and lied on. And like Water Sniper said, how do you signal wrong? I turn left, I put on my left turn signal. I checked to see if they were working. They were working. So he just made up a lie so he could give me a bunch of tickets and fuck up my driving record. I do not want to be around these people. I don't. I want to get off the grid. I want to either go to another country or I just want to get away from them. I can't take it. All right, bye, y'all. I, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Bye. Smooches.